comparison on the exhaust note, this is gonna be already a warm startup and then a few revs. We're gonna do track first and then from there I'll do a touring and then I'll do stealth mode so you guys can hear how different it sounds. update how we looking bro yeah bro we're just wrapping up these little harness right here because when the headers get put on they're gonna be a little close to us so wrap it up and then tie it back a little bit so you guys can see right there those are the gaskets for the oem headers which they're down here yeah, which we're gonna use don't use that gasket shit that they send you but we use the oem ones so that we're gonna use that oem Aluminum ones right there. Is it aluminum or metal? Yeah, the metal. Well, you know, whatever. whatever you guys want to call it. We're going to use those because the other ones tend to leak. So here's the headers. This is a cat from the driver's side. That boy right there gave us some trouble. <laughs> huh. Yeah, well, basically, because it goes like this on the car. It's this way. And it goes like this. So. The position of the O2 is here. So once we took that out, whatever, that was a pain. But you can't get a swivel or anything from the bottom. So what we figured out, but it was too late, is drop the header down, then you can get a wrench in there. But we messed it up, so we want to go ahead and cut it. Yep. I have my spares in the back, so in case you need to go back to stock, we'll still be good. So we have that little situation that happened on that side. This side was probably what? The easiest, this one's is complete. As you guys can see, complete. Even the O2 is still in installed because it didn't bug us one bit for it being there or not. To get to the bolts, it, didn't, it wasn't in the way of anything. So that one was easy. Just that one on the left side made us work for it. So now we're pretty much opened up on this side. Um, I don't know if you guys, you can see, but coolant's off, coolant tank. What else is off, Cookie? The hoses are pulled back. We removed the bracket right here. The dipstick is out. The other reservoir hose is out. Hose is out. The sound tube we just unclipped it and moved to the top. So and then we move the intake right box. Intake box. The tube, and then we put we remove the little covers here and the covers on top. Uh, this one was real easy. It came out through the front, the top, yeah. same as the other one. So we're hoping we can fish it from the top. If not. We have to go through the bottom. Yeah, so we're working with um, some jacks and some jack stands. Not the best, but they're getting the job done. You're so. not a real mechanic if you can't be in your back. So should we show them what, what, what bad boys we got? Might as well. So the bad boys we got are over here in this box. So we got one box over here and one box over there. So that one right there is the full, what do you call that, cat back? Well, you don't have cat back? Yeah, you got the cat back, uh, header back maybe? Header back, there we that go. Probably, probably so that's that, word. what, X-pipe? X-pipe, three, three inch. inch. Not bad for speed engineering. Speed Looks engineering for the win. The whole shebang right there. We got uh, O2 extenders over there. And even wires. And these are the headers right here. So. They haven't even opened up yet, guys. Nope. There they are. What size are those? What size are those? These are two inch, man. Two, two inch, inch primaries. You know what that means, man. Somebody might be going boosted later. Just a little uh, Maggie, maybe. Spoiler alert. So look, they come with gaskets as well. And they come with bolts. It's really up to you what you guys want to use. I mean, these bolts look all right, I guess, but we can use the other ones. So gaskets here. Check this out, guys. These, don't use them. Don't use those. Don't use Please don't use those. These engineering hooked us up. They even they gave us two gaskets. 
So I think these are even uh, AC Doco, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the ones you want to use. AC and it Doco. looks like uh, these are GM boats as well. Yeah. Or not. We'll find out, though. So we got the headers. We got the boats, the gaskets, and then the wire set. So this was this was a whole shebang right here. This was a whole nine yards. Um, I honestly wasn't even expecting all this stuff either. <laughs> I was quite surprised when I received the whole thing. So. And how much you pay for your whole system, man? I paid like about 800 bucks, right? About. But shipped to California? Uh, sure. Not to California, to Mexico. <laughs> little update for you guys. Um, well, major update, better said, because we weren't filming through the process. They're in. We got the header on the passenger, on the driver's side in. With the, pretty much this whole side is complete. So we hooked up the wires. Broski did that over there. He's doing that over there right now. We bolted them down. We did everything to this side. So this side is ready to go. Intake, back in, and everything. This we, side. We left the sound tube in there, so hide the header a little bit. It, you don't need it. We don't need it. We usually delete it, but I told Danny to make it look as stock as possible so you can make it hard for you guys to look at it. So it doesn't look like it has any. The only thing that caused your attention is in red wires, but it's all right. You can just say it's MSD wires or something. Even though it's not it's speed engineering. Shout out to speed engineering. This is not sponsored. This is all out of my pockets. Driveway, by the way. So if you guys are gonna do this in your driveway, we I recommend, or we recommend better said, the Dayton Jack by Harbor Freight. It works wonders, huh? Daytona Jack. Daytona, whoops, there you go. I'm over here thinking about the spokes on the lowriders. So it lifts it up pretty good. Uh, the back is not lifted, so only the front, we got the ramps. Yeah, before you guys start going off on the comments that they're on wrong, you can't have the jack and the ramps at the same position. Why? Because the jacks go here, and you can see how far the ramps go up. And you can't drive up to them because you'll mess up your splitter or uh, any plastics in the bottom like this one right here so before you guys go off on the comments we still have to do the mid pipe and the x pipe so we still haven't cut that but that will be happening shortly we just have to get our measurements right i'll say and then cut so we wanted to finish everything up top if they go to the bottom and then hopefully we'll be hearing a startup pretty soon, huh? Yeah. yeah, maybe an hour, give or take. An hour or so. Because uh, we still got to do the, the reservoir and then uh, take the bubbles out of the system. And then after that, under the hood, it's technically done. We just need the O2 sensors. But uh, we're just trying to figure stuff out and make sure we need an extension or if not, we just pull the harness down a little bit. But we'll, we'll take it away. Yep. And you know, a little Modelo break don't hurt nobody. Don't hurt nobody. This right here is getting discolored. It's getting like yellow. So we might get the, what would you say it's called, Jill? The Roto, the Roto Fab cover. It's like 80 bucks, I think maybe. Maybe a hundred, I think it's a hundred bucks. But it makes it look nice. It just covers it black. And technically it keeps it away from the heat even more because it covers it, so. Yeah, so this is nothing wrong with it. We didn't break it or anything. It's perfectly good, but. It's turning yellow, you guys can see. The bottom is like clear, top is yellow. So we gotta do something about that. And yeah, so everything in here looks nice and clean. No clips were broken at all, yet. Knocking on some wood. Well, I don't think we are gonna break clips anymore because everything's already done. So yeah, we'll give you guys a startup and maybe some updates in between if we face any issues installing the the mid pipes just so you guys know he did get the two inch headers we didn't remove the starter we left the starter intact the dipstick you can feed it through you just honestly need two hands two pairs of hands one on top one on the bottom we did have to unbolt the steering column though but other than that it was easy we learned from uh, doing my cook headers we spent a, quite a bit on that and this one maybe roughly what a, a community of what four or five hours maybe i think so to and be honest I mean, that's including the the rest of the exhaust system but we're taking our time 
have our little break. So we'll be all right. We'll get in it. It looks stock. It looks good. Everything's already put together. So that's that's the big part right there. Uh, I guess the only thing that we'll give you guys for advice on this right here, we cut it because we stripped the bolt. We didn't. We're not gonna use these cats no more. So what you guys can do is just remove all these bolts, loosen up the manifold, and you guys can then get the bolt from the bottom because it sags down. So all you guys have to do is just loosen up this clamp right here. No, where is it? Yeah, this one. Loosen up that clamp in the back, pry it open, and it'll slip out from the, I guess you call it cat back, the original cat back. Cat back. And then you'll have access to it a lot better because you can you're able to take off the oxygen sensor and then once you remove the oxygen sensor you're able to get to this bolt right here as you guys can see it's pretty stripped so the angle that it had it didn't let us get all the way down here so it wouldn't let the socket sit all the way down where it was good but that's just a little tip for you guys um other than that I think it's going pretty smooth. Like I said, I'm picking this guy's brain. So he's he already has pretty good experience on his header. So I'm just going on based on what he says and what he recommends. And also, guys, when you put on your wires, the top part where the ignition coil is at, it has two clicks. Or if you do it hard enough, it'll click all the way like once it'll be a pop, you'll feel it. And then when you do the bottom part, make sure you press it in. Sometimes it feels like it's in and it's not really in. And then uh, you'll get a engine light, check engine light, and then service stability track. That just means there's a misfire in it. The stability track light comes on as a like a basically like just like, like a faulty light technically. Like when I get it, because I put a sound system in my car, when I have it up too high, the sound system, it's a 3000 watt system with a zero gauge, full copper wire. The light comes on and I know my voltage is low and I can see my voltage meter. So once I turn it off, the light goes off. So stability track doesn't necessarily mean it's something with the suspension. It's just a, a faulty like a light just to warn you, kind of. So kind of like a like yeah, I guess they call it like a cumbus, cumbus or some shit like that. Basically, it's just to warn you because right. there's no really a exact light for it. The battery light won't come on because the battery it, it sometimes charges the alternator, sometimes it doesn't. But when you have a big system with a thick wire, fully copper, you'll drain your system. Yeah. So, so just keep that in mind fellas um overall it's pretty good the film is pretty good i'm not gonna lie at first after doing some reading on the forums and everything i thought i picked the wrong headers but <laughs> you guys can be the judge of that it's just two inch primaries nothing's hitting nothing Even you know you know what speed engineering they do good product. However, the first couple of ones are always the bad ones. They do revise them as time goes on, like any other company. But the welds are solid. The in, the whole design of it is solid. So, I mean, I paid way too much for my cook headers. If I knew these fit like that, I would have just got these. Yeah, so this, I guess, like he said, he could have said it any better. Every company revises their products so often. But this, I'm, I'm honestly pretty stoked about this even the wires no wires resting on any primary tubes as you guys can see that 45 degree angle puts it work so we got a 45 degree angle and then it clips onto the top these are speed engineering wires which i didn't even know i ordered but i did <laughs> they look like msds just renamed to be honest but yeah. it's this is this side so we're we're all set we're all set up here we're gonna go down there um We'll give you guys a visual of how it looks right now and then how it's going to look after. And then, of course, we have some sound clips for you guys of how it sounded before and then how it's going to sound after. So, I don't know what you guys think. Is it going to sound louder or not? You guys are going to have to wait until the end of the video because I'm not putting no spoilers yet. You guys have to watch the whole thing, the whole shebang. So, give us a few and then we'll get under there, give you guys an update down there, a visual, a nice little mod tips if we encounter any issues and we'll take it from there